what we had showed up uh, last year, just before Christmas, was uh, some headlights, but I just happened to go away with my partner um, on holiday, and we only just got back, and the weather has only just become um, sunny enough to do any work, so we've got the, the headlights here, they're a crystal headlight for the Hilux, so I'll show you how we install them and the tools required to get the job done. All the lamps themselves are these. So yeah, they come with the dome, and they come in. They come with these new style of um, H4 bulbs. They're sort of like you pull them out of that holder, and yeah, they you just replace the bulb. Um, like I think they're they're pretty good quality. Um, I wouldn't say that they're the, the like best ones out there, but they'll do the job um, yeah it's obviously just plastic and the spring steel holds it in I think they're gonna look good on the truck so we might just see what tools we need in to install them. so as it actually turns out uh, I've got an old HID kit that came out of a EG9 Civic that I used to have um, and these fit straight into um, the housing that the bulbs are, so these will probably work. They've got a little ballast down there, um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get these to work, and hopefully they do, because I'd be really keen on some HID lights in the Hilux. It would look good with the crystals. I wanted to put the brand new... Um, boot on there but we might just have to use this existing one just to start out with so that seems to go on pretty good so i'm happy with that so that's cool i could have done it in the truck but it just would have been very like fidgety and you know, it's just ideal just to do it like this so So those are the existing headlights and they are sealed. So just from memory, uh, all you have to do is you have to do that uh, Phillips head screw there. I think you have to take the indicator panel off and there's another one behind it and maybe unclip the grill and then behind it is what holds the headlight in. One just up in there as well probably one down there so we'll just go through and check where they all are so just confirm that there is four holes so there's one two three and four um i had to pull the bumper off the, the grill just by squishing um squishing those upwards so upwards and then the grill just loosens off. There are some other screws down there, but that doesn't have to come off. I'm probably going to pull it off and paint it black. Um, this is a bit rusty. It looks like there's a 10 mil socket on there. Uh, right there. And another one down below. So you scratch that. All you need to do is undo those three things there. Three small screws. And that silver trim will come off and then the headlight pops out and that's all it takes so this one here just needs a little slot put into it I should probably replace the screw I might do that later on but I'll just cut a little slot in there and then use a screw flat bladed screwdriver to get that off so that I can replace it I just got a little 12 uh, volt um, cutter so I'll just put a little slot in there and we should be good to get it off so I just put a little slit in it and it works so it's coming off try and find something to replace it you can tap this so that this moves and once you got it off it should just pop off like oh <laughs> I just broke it uh, shit it should just pop off like that. Unfortunately, I don't have a spot welder to fix it. So what we'll just do is we'll drill a hole through uh, through this piece and just weld it to this. I think this is stainless, so it should work. 
So we'll just see how that comes out. Uh, welders already set up, so I've been doing welding today. Uh, and then yeah, hopefully we can put the new headlight on. And I'm, I'm hoping and I'm hoping and praying that the other side isn't the same. Because if it is, <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. I suggest that uh, we'll just drill in the places that have already been spot, spotted. Um, I just recommend using a really small drill bit and yeah, just go in the same spots. They don't have to be huge holes. Just take the time and it should be all good. Usually when it comes to welding, you'd like to have your surfaces really prepped. I've just got an old sock and some jiff. I don't have a scotch bright, so this is as close as it's gonna get. I'll just clean like the rust off and any of this crap that's on the inside here so that it'll just make it better to weld because I've just got to be so quick not to like melt um, the steel as well so we'll do like the inside and outside and then we'll wash it off and then yeah get it ready to weld preparation is key when it comes to welding stuff so judging off how thin this will be, it probably requires like really low amperage so I just clamped it together, put the foot pedal down there so I'd say it's probably about 10-15 amps max um, but yeah we'll see how it goes. So I got my uh, fat boy tip, um, RIP Furic cup, these are really expensive, uh, this was about $60 for the whole kit, comes with everything. These were about 300 New Zealand dollars, so yeah, it's um, you know, served me, served me well, the BBW, but yeah, RIP. Not the prettiest, but hey, I'm gonna grind it down anyways. It, it'll function how it's supposed to, so it's all good. I think we should be able to polish that out. I will grind that little bit off and then polish the rest. I'll probably just put that one on the bottom so that it's out of sight anyways. So far, so good. So we'll just put all of this stuff back on. Luckily, my bumper support was not on as tight as it should be because uh, I had to cut this bumper out the other day so that I could weld the, um, the low um, body mount so that's how much room we've got to drop by once we do the body drop. to the other side because that one is still ready to needing to be done. Okay, well this side is a little bit easier than the other. Um, none of the screws needed to be cut so I'd say that this is going to come straight out. Alright so Phone went flat, typical. Got it all together and basically just going to start up the truck, see what it looks like. A uh, bit of a weird thing with the headlights is that I would have thought that the lines would have been like, um, I, th I would have thought that the lines would have been like parallel with the road, but um, there's these little tabs that are like in the existing headlight that I'll just bring up the old ones so 
these little tabs here, they locate into the, um, the headlight cup. And I, I assume that um, the new ones would have been like this, like, you know, like parallel with the ground, but I had to mount them on an angle. So it's kind of like an X. But um, we'll just go, we'll just go down there and have a look and see what they, what they look like. And hopefully there's no problems going on with the, um, the ballasts of the HID lights. So we'll test it out. It's obviously not going to look very good during the day, but at least you'll get a picture. And then maybe I'll um, get a video tonight of them running in, in like in nighttime. So this is what they look like. Do you know what I mean? That line is like this, but yeah, I, I have the thought that they would have been parallel with the road. I think they look really good. So that's pretty cool. We'll start it up and see what they look like. Well, I guess uh, that's enough for today. They don't work, so we'll have to put the other ones in or think of another plan. I think it's probably because the voltage is too low, but they have been sitting for a few years. So who knows what could have been the cause of that. But anyways, uh, uh, can't do that to you. I'll put these in. Shame though.